me Are sweet as roses in the morning You to me Are soft as summer rain at dawn And love we share That's something rare The sidewalks in the street The concrete and the clay beneath my feet Begins to crumble But love will never die Because we'll see the mountains tumble Hey everybody, this is Ed Rambo, and welcome once again to My Little Corner of the World. And, as promised, tonight will be part two of a theme everybody seemed to really enjoy on my last show, Way Back When. Songs from our past that continue to remain very much alive today. However, before I begin, I'd like to shout out a great big Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Yes, folks, tis the day for the wearing of the green. So enjoy it, and here's wishing you all a wonderful St. Paddy's Day. That being said, let's begin with a song from 1946 composed by Joseph Myro with lyrics written by Mac Gordon. It was introduced in the 1946 musical film Three Little Girls in Blue, and in 1956 it was recorded by Frank Sinatra, which he performed frequently throughout his career. His version is also featured in the 2003 movie entitled Elf, E-L-F, Elf. Many other artists, including Ella Fitzgerald, Helen Reddy, and Michael Bublé, have covered this song along with yours truly. So I hope you enjoy my version of this incredible classic, which I'd like to dedicate to all my listeners out there, because all you guys, well, you make me feel so young. You make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak I wanna go play hide and seek I wanna go and bounce the moon Just like a toy balloon and I are just like a couple of tots Running across the meadow Picking up lots of forget-me-nots You make me feel so young You make me feel there are songs to be sung Bells to be rung And a wonderful fling to be flung And even when I'm old and gray I'm gonna feel the way I do today Cause you make me feel so young And even when I'm old and gray I'm gonna feel the way I do today Cause you make me feel so young 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 That was You Make Me Feel So Young from 1946. This next popular song was composed by Hoagy Carmichael in 1939 and has a very interesting background. Its lyrics were based on a poem written by Jane Brown Thompson and its melody is the main melodic theme of the fantasy impromptu in C-sharp minor, Opus 66 by Frederick Chopin. Thompson's identity as the author of the poem was for many years unknown and she unfortunately died the night before the song was introduced on radio by Dick Powell. The biggest selling version was a 1939 recording by Red Norvo and his orchestra with a vocal by Terry Allen. Hoagy Carmichael and Jane Russell performed the song in the 1950 film noir, The Las Vegas Story. It's a rather poignant tune entitled, I Get Along Without You Very Well. Of course I do. I get along without you very well 
Of course I do Except when the soft rains fall And drip from leaves Then I recall The thrill of being sheltered In your arms Of course I do But I get along without you very well I've forgotten you just like I should of course I have except to hear your name or someone's laugh That is the same But I've forgotten you Just like I should What a guy What a fool am I To think my breaking heart Could kid the moon What's in store Should I fall once more No It's best That I stick to my tune I get along Very well, of course I do, except perhaps in spring, but I should never think of spring, for that would surely break my heart in. Hoagie Carmichael wrote that one back in 1939. I get along without you very well. Moving on with our theme, Way Back When, Part 2, brings us to a popular music ballad from the 1950s. It is well known for its opening line, See the Pyramids Along the Nile. The song was published in Hollywood on April 21st, 1952, and the most popular version was by Miss Jo Stafford, reaching number one on both the UK and US single charts. Please enjoy my rendition of You Belong to Me. Watch the sunrise on a tropic isle But just remember, darling, all the while You belong to me See the marketplace in old Algiers Send me photographs and souvenirs Just remember when a dream appears You belong to me I'll be so alone without you Thank you. 
maybe you'll be lonesome too. See the jungle when it's wet with rain. Just remember till you're home again. You belong to me. I'll be so alone without you. Baby, maybe you'll be lonesome too. It's funny about that song because it's more instantly recognizable to people when you refer to it as See the Pyramids Along the Nile than its actual title, You Belong to Me. Anyway, that being said, let's move on to another Way Back When classic with music by Sonny Burke and words by Paul Francis Webster. The song was published in 1948. Sarah Vaughan charted with it in 1949 on Columbia, arranged by Joe Lipman, and it is considered one of the most notable versions. I first fell in love with it when I heard a version sung by the inimitable Bobby Darren. It's a wonderful moody ballad entitled Black Coffee. I'm feeling mighty lonesome Haven't slept a wink I walk the floor and watch the door And in between I drink Black coffee Love's a hand-me-down brew I'll never know a Sunday in this weekday room Been talking to the shadows One o'clock till four And Lord, how slow the moments go When all you do is pour Black coffee Since the blues caught my eye I'm hanging out on Monday My Sunday dreams to dry You know a man A man is born to love a woman to work and slave To pay her debts Just because he's only human To drown his past regrets In coffee and cigarettes I'm mooning all the morning And mooning all the night in between it's nicotine and not much hard to fight black coffee feeling low as the ground it's 
driving me crazy Waiting for my baby To maybe come around Gonna drown my past regrets In some coffee and a few cigarettes I'm mooning all the morning And morning all the night With black coffee Ah, uh, yes, black coffee. A great old classic, but not often heard that much these days. Next, we have a show tune from the 1937 Rodgers and Hart musical, Babes in Arms. It was first performed by Ray Heatherton and Mitzi Green. That same year, Hal Kemp recorded a popular version. The song also appeared in the film version of Babes in Arms two years later. Like so many of the Richard Rogers and Lorenz Hart compositions, this one continues to remain a classic standard. Its title, Where or When. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then But I can't remember where or when The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore The smile you are smiling, you were smiling then But I can't remember where or when Some things that happened for the first time Seem to be happening again So it seems that we have met before And laughed before And loved before But who knows where or when But who knows where You just heard one of my personal favorite songs from way back when, Where or When, and I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you who may have just tuned in, you're listening to Ed Rambo, and this is My Little Corner of the World on MemoryLaneOldies.com. Tonight's theme, Way Back When Part 2. We'll be moving on in a minute, but first, you all know what time it is. It's time for that little rascal everybody loves, America's favorite pussycat, Talking Tom. What's the word, little buddy? Hey, Eduardo, how's it going? And hello to all my highly devoted fans out there who continue to wish this show was mine instead of yours. Never mind, what's new? Well, remember that little bug that was dancing to your hateful recording of Begin to Begin in the video at the end of your last show? Uh, I'm going to ignore part of what you just said, but of course I remember him. He was a real cutie. Yeah, I know. Angelina and I fell in love with him, so we called him up and had him over for dinner. Well, that was very nice of you. What was he like? Delicious. Oh, stop it. First of all, I know Angelina very well, and she would never do something like that. Oh, really? And uh, since you say you know Angelina very well, can you honestly tell me that you like her? What are you talking about? I love Angelina. 
Really? You want her? Oh, come on, Tom. You know very well I didn't mean it in that way. Yeah, but a guy can dream, can't he? Uh, not to change the subject, Tom, but Valentine's Day was just last month, and I never did ask you guys what you got each other. Uh, what'd you give Angelina? Well, I wanted to give her my heart, but I couldn't, because she ripped that out years ago. Stop it. And what'd she get you? She got me exactly what I asked her to get me, a pair of earmuffs. Earmuffs? We're coming into spring. Are your ears always that cold? No, I need them for when I'm here, to help muffle out somebody's dreadful singing. Say goodnight, Tom. My goodness, that was abrupt. Why are you so angry? Have you been listening to some of your own recordings? I said, just say goodnight. All right already, I'm out of here. But I'm sure you'll stop being so nasty to me once all my fans start sending in those reprimanding cards and letters. That being said, I'll see everybody in two weeks. But for now, my catnip awaits. Good night and good riddance. Can you believe that, folks? He actually thinks I'm the one being nasty to him. I think I'm going to have to get that little guy some medication. Anyway, let's move on to tonight's theme, Way Back When, Part 2. Here's another show tune from the same 1937 Rodgers and Hart musical, Babes in Arms, that gave us the previous song I sang entitled, Where or When. This one was introduced by former child star Mitzi Green and is a spoof on New York high society and its strict etiquette, with lyrics containing many phony social pretensions. You'll recognize it from the title immediately, The Lady is a Tramp. Oh, and uh, please be aware that I took the liberty of writing most of the lyrics to the second stanza to uh, update the song a little, you know? Hope you enjoy it. She gets too hungry for dinner at eight Likes the theater but never comes late She never bothers with people she hates That's why the lady is a tramp Won't go to Harlem in ermines and pearls Won't go to crap games With barons and earls Won't dish the girls With the rest of the dirt That's why the lady is a tramp She likes the free, fresh Wind in her hair Life without care She's broke It's oak Hates California It's cold And it's damp That's why The lady is a tramp She doesn't care much for dresses low cut And no French poodles For her It's a mutt To get ahead She would never Kiss butt That's why The lady is a tramp You'll never find her With lady Lunch. She doesn't go where the chic people brunch She's independent, won't follow the bunch That's why the lady is a tramp She likes the green grass under her shoes how can she lose? She's flat, that's that She went to college But never to camp That's why the lady That's why the lady That's why the lady 
That's why the lady in the tramp. Let's follow the lady is a tramp with a popular song and jazz standard composed by George Gershwin with lyrics by his brother Ira. It began life in 1930 as a nine-bar phrase with the working title, There's No Stopping Me Now. Its title phrase, Nice Work If You Can Get It, came from an English magazine. It was one of nine songs the Gershwin brothers wrote for the movie A Damsel in Distress, in which it was performed by Fred Astaire with backing vocals by the Stafford Sisters. The song was published in 1937, and I hope you enjoy my recording of Nice Work if you can get it. Holding hands at midnight Neath the starry sky Nice work If you can get it And you can get it If you try Strolling With that one girl Sighing sigh after sigh Nice work If you can get it And you can get it If you try Just imagine Someone Waiting at the cottage door Where two hearts become one Who could ask for anything more Loving Loves you, and then taking that vow, nice work if you can get it, and if you get it, won't you tell me how? that 
vow Nice work If you can get it And if you get it Won't you tell me George and Ira Gershwin gave us that one. Nice work if you can get it. And that song was truly nice work, gentlemen, so thank you for that one. This next popular song from 1953 was written by Irvin Drake, Irvin Graham, Jimmy Sherrill, and Al Stillman. These four gentlemen were commissioned to write it to be introduced by Jane Froman on her television show, and this particular composition has the distinct honor of becoming the first hit song ever introduced on TV. Jane Froman troubled by the uprising of the Korean War in 1952, so soon after World War II, asked these four songwriters to compose a song that would offer hope and faith to the populace. Kind of funny, isn't it? Because with what's happening at this very moment regarding Putin's madness, it seems this song can offer the same hope and faith in 2022 as it offered way back then in 1952. Therefore, the question remains... Is mankind ever really going to see world peace? Anyway, if you're not familiar with this musical composition, listen closely to the lyrics. It's called, I Believe. I believe for every drop of rain that falls, a flower grows. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night A candle glows I believe for everyone Who goes astray Someone will come To show the way Oh, I believe Yes I believe, I believe above the storm the smallest prayer can still be heard. I believe that someone in the great somewhere hears every word. Every time I hear a newborn baby cry Or touch a leaf Or see the sky Then I know why I believe Every time I hear a newborn baby cry Touch a beam Or see the sky Then I know why I believe For those of you who are watching the YouTube video of tonight's show, the video you just saw for I Believe was created by my longtime friend Nettie Bach, who is no longer with us, but continues to remain greatly missed. So thank you for that one, Nettie, and continue to rest in peace, sweet lady. And with regard to Jane Froman's commercial recording of I Believe, it reached number 11 on the Billboard charts during a 10-week stay, and the song has gone on to be recorded by many, many artists, eventually turning it into both a popular and religious standard. Kay Ballard made the first recording of my next song in 1954, the year it was written by Bart Howard, who titled it In Other Words. 
However, it's come to be more commonly known as its opening line, Fly Me to the Moon. In 1999, the Songwriters Hall of Fame honored Fly Me to the Moon by inducting it as a, quote, towering song, unquote. Here's my version, and I hope it pleases you. Fly me to the moon And let me play among the stars Let me see what spring is like On Jupiter and Mars In other words Hold my hand In other words Darling, kiss me Kiss me, fill my heart with song And let it sing forevermore You are all I long for All I worship and adore In other words Please be true In other words I Fly Me to the Moon. Tonight, I'd like to close with a song I wrote that has already gone viral on YouTube due to its lyric content. Most of you may have already heard it, but for those of you who haven't, this evening it's making its debut on my show. I composed it as a dedication to all the extreme unrest in the world, paying special attention to all those grossly and unfairly afflicted people of Ukraine. It's so hard for me to piece together what kind of demented brain one man could have that would kill so many people over a damn piece of land. How sick and how greedy can one man be? Today we're learning the danger of a country that allows themselves to be ruled by a dictator, having that much power that if he were to go insane, as I think may be the case here, he could literally destroy the entire globe and not even be aware or care that he's doing it. In addition, if a man with that much power were diagnosed with a terminal illness, he could also be evil enough to take the attitude of saying, What the hell? If I'm going to die, why not take the rest of the globe with me? Most of all, the strangest part of the whole thing is that I can't imagine someone wanting to go down in history as one of the most grossly hated monsters on the face of the planet. I mean, what a legacy, right? Anyway... Now that I've vented my extreme distaste for this despicable creature, please enjoy my original composition entitled, Why Can't Everybody? Why can't everybody Live and let live Why does everybody just have to fight? Doesn't everybody Have love to give? Why 
Why does everybody want to be right? Why can't everybody put down their guns? Why can't everybody learn to agree? Doesn't anybody think about their daughters and sons? Doesn't everybody yearn to be free? To think that one man, one man on his own Could change the course of the world We gotta stop him before the earth stands alone From nothing but hatred unfurled Why can't everybody stop these war crimes Stop doing what this dictator bids Think about the world in happier times Think about the lives of our kids Don't you want to live in a world that's free? Don't you want to see your children happy as can be? Well, if I want love and peace And the hatred to cease Then Why can't Everybody I certainly hope you enjoyed my original composition Why Can't Everybody? And if you did Please go to YouTube and share it with everyone you know so we can continue to get this message of hope out there to the world. Oh, and uh, while you're there, I ask that you please, please, please click on the subscribe button underneath the video. It's completely free to do so, and it will help me out tremendously because YouTube refuses to pay the creators of any video until they have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. With a little over 240, I've got quite a ways to go. So please share the video and remind all your friends to share and subscribe. That being said, thank you all for listening to my second salute to the music of Way Back When. And I hope you can join me two weeks from this evening for a brand new theme which has yet to be decided upon. But for now, this is Ed Rambo, and from my little corner of the world to yours, with nothing but love in my heart, here's wishing you an awesome remainder of your evening with our dear friend Ron Baker. So let's return to Ron's Record Shop, and good night with buckets of love, everyone! Mm-hmm.